Greetings from Bermuda, this is BD Limey, and welcome back to Steam World Quest Hand of Gilgamesh, episode 2, uh, where we continue with the story uh, from last time, where our heroes had discovered that their village had been attacked by an evil army who had burned it down and stolen the heroes, or captured the heroes. Uh, and we are off in pursuit to try to recover them. So let's continue on to where we got from where we got from, uh, from where we got to last time. Chapter 4 In Pursuit of an Evil Army Look at the tracks, they must have come this way. Okay, now did it, we actually uh, spent a little bit of time last time messing around with our deck and it did not remember that. Ah, games that only save at certain points are annoying. Okay, well, uh, we put in Aspiring Hero. Uh, I think we took out Shout. We decided Brave Buster was pretty great. Um, did we take out another Heroic Strike though? I'm not sure that we did because we need these cards to build up the steam power. We need to use these cards. Um, maybe we can afford one more. Let's try one more. Hopefully that's not too unbalanced, we'll find out. Uh, and for Copernica... Uh, what did we do here? I think we put Focus in as a way to boost the damage from the fire attacks. Uh, I think we took out Creeping Cold. And uh, maybe left it at that. And then Galeo. Uh, I think we took out Wrecking Ball because we weren't really using it and we put in another Poison. Did we? Did we take out a Steam Punch? Maybe we took out a Steam Punch. Although well, that is three Steam Points. Mm. Maybe we'll keep one. Yeah, maybe we'll keep one copy of that in, and take that out. Then I've only got three cards there that are building up. Now let's stick with that. Uh, all right, let's try that. Let's find this evil army. Oh, who's that? Okay. Uh, oh, lucky if I've just come to this spot. Saved our game. All right. I think our heroes are. How can we tell what their hit points are? We can come to here. We're all on full hit points, so that's good. And here is the merchant. So let's see what we can do. We can craft some more cards now. Hmm. Raise all ally strength. Deals increased physical damage if the foe is below 30% health. Physical damage and make them f may make them flinch. It's going to tell us. Okay, flinch. Target's next card has no effect. Not all cards can be flinched. Okay. Searing Lash. Deal fire damage to one foe. 25 fire damage. Better than what we've got. 90% of magic damage. 90% of magic as fire damage. Kind of want to see what her other cards are without having to go all the way back out. But I can't. Okay, what are the options here? Quick fix. Heals one ally and cures poison, bleed, and burn. That's one ally by 190% magic. It's actually cheaper than his regular heal. Oh, I really need to be able to see the other cards. I 
think that's probably, I mean, it's certainly cheaper than his regular heal. Okay, let's craft that. We still afford anything else. We can't afford Searing Lash. Uh, I think it might be better than, because it gives us, a, it's a basic attack card, so this builds up steam power for us, which I think is going to be quite important. So I will go for those. Uh, now we need to change our deck around again. Uh, um, well, it's certainly better than Book Bash though, so we can take out Book Bash and put that in. Now we've got a lot of fire, and if we use Focus as well, that will raise the damage on these cards. Um, the Fire Pillar is doing 66 damage now, which is a lot. Hey, Francis, how's it going? Uh, it's not a roguelite, uh, so it's, um, it is a turn-based, uh, deck builder. Um, so the battles, the battles are kind of, kind of go similarly, um, but it's, uh, it's a sort of an ongoing story. Um, so you're playing through, yeah, following the story along and doing battles along the way, uh, that just happen to be fought with, uh, yeah, similar kind of mechanic. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's fun. Um, it's set in the Steam World kind of universe, I guess, if you've played any of those games. Uh, so Steam World Dig, Steam World Dig 2, and Steam World Heist. Um, similar art style. I think we have really nice art style. Okay, well, let me get into the game then, and you can see how it plays. It's, it's simpler than something like Rogue Book or Slay the Spire. Uh, at least from what I've unlocked so far. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, I actually thought Quick Fix was comparable to Mend, but actually Mend is really good. Although, it only costs one Steam Power to use it, so... It does have some interesting decisions to make. Uh, yeah, it's it's not too graphics intensive. Um, okay. I yeah, I would think it's it's fine. Um, yeah, it's uh, it looks nice, but it's a it's a flat two D presentation. You'll see when we kind of get into it. Um, oh, I've just crafted this card. I feel like I I have to use it now. Um. Uh, but I don't know. It's 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 quite difficult because each so we've got three heroes, so it's similar to Rogue Book in that respect that you've got multiple heroes in the fight, uh, and each of them can only have eight cards in the deck, but you can change them around uh, between battles however much you want. Um, <laughs> the knock on the coffin lid is okay, but nothing too much. Hint hint. I know, I I am going to pick it up at some point, but like I said, I'm probably going to wait for it to come out of early access, and, or at least until it seems to be a bit more bedded down. Um, just because i got so many other games that I could be playing um, that are kind of done, so... Um, yeah. I don't know though. Who knows? If it does end up in a sale, I know it's not likely because it's pretty cheap anyway, but if it does, then that may just tip me over the edge to getting it sooner rather than later, but... I, I thought I'd read on Steam a post where they were talking about uh, reworking some of the... Uh, some of the stuff. I'm pretty sure it was that game. Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do here? Dare I risk? Okay, let's take out Steam Punch and we'll put in one quick fix. I've got a feeling that's too many. That's like five of these cards that need Steam Power. Well, this one doesn't need any Steam Power, I guess, but it also doesn't generate Steam Power. Uh, so maybe that's all right. Let's try it. See how we go. Uh, oh, I'm at the final boss. It'll take me at least 10 runs. Okay. Uh, 
which way we're going. So there's there's limited uh, choices in terms of which way you can go. So you can see from the map down at the bottom here, um, it gives you an indication as to which ways you can go. Um, so I don't know. Let's go this way. Uh, he looks kind of scary. Okay, so we have limited ability to sneak up on them like that. And so they'll start the battle uh, damaged. So yeah, our three heroes, uh, hit points up here, uh, fairly standard, the enemy's here. Uh, we can play three cards each turn. If we play a basic card, actually is this going to raise our steam power? Certainly if we, if we play a card like this, which is a kind of support card, <clears throat> or a basic attack card, it will give us one steam power for every card played. And then that will let us use the more powerful cards like this. Um, and that number up there is the uh, steam power cost. Um, I don't know whether this counts towards steam power or not. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so he is very weak to frost and I've of course taken out all my frost cards from my deck. So that's unfortunate. He is strong against fire, which is what I've got in my deck. I'm weak to dark. I don't have any of that anyway. Uh, so, okay, so I haven't picked the greatest deck here. I can change that next go. Um, and also, so each card is associated with a hero. So the green cards are associated with uh, Gallo. The red cards are associated with our Millie. And the blue cards uh, are associated with Copernica. And if all three cards that you play in one turn belong to the same hero, then they get you get a bonus effect as well, which is like a fourth card. Um, so it's, that can be worth doing as well. Uh, what else is worth talking about? Um, oh, you can also redraw. So you can see we've got two redraws. Um, each turn. So if we don't like any of these cards, yeah, we, we can we can redraw them. Um, and any cards that you don't use stay in your hand for the next turn and you just draw back up to six. So I think I'm going to stick a poison on, I don't know who. He's kind of tough to fire, so maybe I'll put a poison on him. We'll see whether this gives us a steam power. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Uh, so any cards that use steam power, even if it's zero, don't generate it. Which means I can only play these two unless I'm going to redraw. Uh, maybe I should redraw this. Uh, I was hoping I'd get another green. But then I could play this and another green and get the benefit of his ability since i don't have that i think i will play this so that raises uh, our millie's strength which is going to help with all of her attacks uh, and heals as well although i'm at full health so that's not such a big deal right now um so this will actually hit for more than 24 because her strength will be up by the time this card goes off we'll just focus on that once we've picked our cards we finish the turn and then they draw one card per enemy. Our cards happen in order, so yeah, it's 30 damage. And then they do whatever they're going to do. Uh, and we, we can't see what they're going to do. We get no indication of their intent before they go. Um, okay, so now we've got two steam power. One from each of the two cards that we played last turn that was not a cog card, basically. So now we can do some more of these. Um, so I'm going to redraw this because another bravado is not very useful right now. Excellent. Okay, so we've got three blues we can play here. So we'll play focus first to raise her magic. We'll do mana barrier to give her a shield because she is the weakest. And then we'll do Searing Lash, and that again will do more than 25 damage because Focus will have boosted her mana. 
And then because we've played three from the same hero, we get Barrier Field as a bonus. Um, uh, yeah, I could have done three greens there. Um, but I... Uh, yeah, I wanted to hold off on those uh, to keep that heal for... Uh, until we've taken a bit more damage. And because we don't lose the cards from our hand, we keep them till the next go. Uh, there's no downside to, uh, yeah, if you've got something that you like, you can you can keep it for the next turn. So now we've got five greens. So now we can definitely do three of his. I mean, obviously you don't have to. And, mm, see, arguably, we should play Fire Pillar to finish him off. So that's kind of one of the tricky decisions. It's like, ah, oh, but I could play three greens. And then I'd get the bonus, and the bonus in this case would be a boost to all of our defense. Uh, which actually I think is probably not worth it because we're all shielded at the moment anyway. Oh, and, and his bonus actually heals everybody, which again is not that big a deal at the moment because only, um, only her has taken any damage. So I am actually going to do Fire Pillar. Shame because it would do more damage to these guys than it than it's going to do to him, and he's poisoned, so he's going to take some damage at the end of the turn anyway. It doesn't tell you exactly how much, uh, which is a slightly frustrating thing. I wish this game gave you a bit more information, but there, yeah, such is life. So we'll we'll open with that, and at least that gives us more steam power. So it does let us play more of you know these bigger cards. Next go. Um. I think that's probably going to kill him even though he's resist... Is it going to kill him even though he's resistant? I don't exactly know. I mean, that's nearly 90 damage normally. I think with that and the poison, it will still kill him. So I'll just leave that on him. And then I will, I think, just punch this guy. And let's boost the shields of... I don't know who needs it most. Uh, I'll boost his, his shields. Okay, yeah, that was enough to kill him. So hardened shells, so that increases their physical resistance. Okay, flame waves are 60 damage to all enemies. Well, that's kind of a no-brainer, but on the other hand, I've also got that. Got 16 power. Yeah, I don't really need the heal and the extra bonus from him, so I think I am just gonna... Well, again, though, I see this is what I always forget. I, I forget you've got these three redraws. Oh, and now we've got three redraws because of the focus uh, that I cast on her at the beginning. We can actually redraw three cards. Uh, so I can I can try and get more of the blues. Let's do that. Uh, another poison. Get rid of one of the men's. Another brave buster. Brave buster is a great card. It does a load of damage for um for its cost. I suspect I'm not going to... Well, I'm certainly not going to pull two more blues, so... We'll do Flame Wave. Uh, what am I most likely to want to keep for next turn? Three greens or three reds? Well, I don't really need the mend. I guess putting poison on now is... Better. So let's do that. And maybe maybe I'll keep the reds for next go, so maybe I will heal Copernica. And they're weak to fire as well. Cool, no worries. No worries. Thanks for dropping by.
Oh, jeez. Uh, what happened there? The things exploded. I had no idea they were going to explode. Did anything actually tell us they were going to explode? Oh my god, that was terrible. Because uh, hit points carry over between fights as well. Oh my god. Okay. Talk to me about those enemies. What the heck? Where are they? God, there's a lot of different enemies. What were they called? Tombas? Highly volatile. Exp oh, okay, they have an explode card. How do you know when they're going to explode? Could they end up exploding at the beginning? Okay, well that's good to know. I guess if those things show up, kill them as quick as we can. We better put some frost in our deck. Because we're probably going to see some more of those. So... Two creeping cold, because that's the only frost that we have. Um, take out one flame wave. And one fire pillar, I guess. Okay, we're going back to the, um, to here. Because we can fully heal at this statue, fortunately. We haven't used it yet, which is lucky. Oh, but nearby enemies respawn. Uh, that's okay, we've, we've got to do it, we're so low. Uh, well, I guess now we know what's going to happen. We can go back and do that fight again. And hopefully we'll... Ooh. Okay. Alright, there are no exploding things this time, which is better. Although, hang on, what were these? These were resistant to fire, yeah. But only slightly resistant to fire, so. Okay, and we can do three cards for Marmilly as well, so we're going to get the bonus from that, which is great. Uh, this will boost our strength by one grade for three turns, which will help with our damage. So, uh, but poison's always good to play, but it stays in our hand, so that's fine. So yeah, we will do this, and this, and that. Now we get a chain, which gives us a card with extra damage and a heal. We don't need the heal right now, but the extra damage is always good. Uh, boosts her strength as well, boosts her strength even more. does that do? That's lowered his... her... I keep calling her a him. It's a she. Uh, that's lowered her physical defense. So... It would be good to do something about that. I'm not really sure that I can. Um, I could redraw. Well, we draw this one because that's not super good. Ooh, okay, Brave Buster. I love Brave Buster. Uh, so let's use that to kill. I'm just worried I'm going to take a load of damage if I'm attacked, but ah, whatever. Do that. Uh, then we'll do a heroic strike on him, and then we've got enough steam power to use the second Brave Buster. Which we'll do on him, and then we get a chain, so hopefully I'll kill both of these. Yep. Great. 
that's fine. We can handle one damage. Uh, particularly if we could get a heal would be nice. Uh, let's try... Let's try redrawing that. And again. Okay, so we do have a heal. But to use it, I will have to play Steam Punch and Shields Up. That's fine. Is he still weak? So putting a shield on. She, our Millie, is still weak. So we'll boost her uh, defense. And now we can... Do we want to mend or do we want to put a poison? Let's put a poison on him. Because then we trigger his bonus, which is Guardian, which heals everybody for 16 and increases everybody's physical resistance. Let's do that as focus. Let's do a barrier on her and a fire pillar there, and then we'll get the bonus again, which gives everybody a barrier field. Okay, so that's lowered his physical resistance, but I think that's be fine. Let's heal our melee. Um, it's a little bit low, but not too bad. So probably better to just do that and then do that. I don't know, the poison may have killed him, but... You don't exactly know how much damage these things are going to do. Can't be sure. Okay, everybody leveled up. So our Millie's magic went up by 8. Copernicus' health went up by 50. Galea's health went up by 70. It's great. Extra gold, extra trashium. Oh, exploding bombs again. Ugh. Okay, well, we have the frost and we have the knowledge oh I missed it uh, okay these things do need to die very quickly Ooh. oh interesting so when we leveled up their maximum health increased but their current health did not is why they look really bad Hopefully we can heal that. Uh, okay, let's boost that. Let's do that. Uh, the poison's too good to pass up, I think, so... These things have to die quickly. I'm not quite sure how their cards work. Oh, maybe they need steam power. Maybe once they've got three steam power, that's when they can do their explode. So maybe we've got like three turns. Kill them. Okay, so... Do focus. Flame wave. And we'll poison the other one. Okay. 
Okay, I really don't want barriers. I just want to kill them as quick as I can. So let's get rid of that and get rid of that. I guess unless they're going to explode. Uh, well, this is not very useful. Uh, not the greatest damage in the world. Let's get rid of that. Okay, I've got to heal. Okay, well, let's Searing Lash of that one. Uh, let's Fire Pillar that one. And... I guess Bravado. feeling that next go they may explode. I need to kill them right now. So get rid of Mend. Get rid of Mend. Okay, we have Brave Buster. Okay, Creeping Cold actually is probably good. I do Heroic Strike. Oh, I'm not, I don't have enough to do Brave Buster and Creeping Cold. Redraw this one. Okay, another brave buster. This is going to do 42 damage to one foe and an equal amount to another random foe. Do 42 on this one and 42 on that one. The poison should then kill that. I'm hoping means that on that. Uh, do I have another attack? Okay, so if that's not gonna end up killing them, then I better protect her because she's most likely to die. 58 is weak. Okay, great. Oh, excellent. I killed both of them in one go. Phew. Could have been bad. Yes, let's continue along this way. Hello, there's a woman in a barrel. Hello? Yes, my child. Need a hand to get out of that barrel? Just like King Algiron holds the planet together from its core, I hold our society get together from this barrel. Take that as a no. You didn't happen to see an army pass by here just a short while ago. I most certainly did. They were a bit loud-mouthed, but at least they had the decency to flip me around. You see, just as fate, I tend to gyrate, and there's only so many hours I can take head down in this thing. Right. Two ways we could go. Let's go that way. Ha, chest. Okay, new cards. Fiery Bash deals 150% of strength as physical damage to one foe and lowers their fire defense by one grade for three turns. Okay. Two chests. Even better. Electrolyze. 
and an achievement, get it off your chest. Does 38 to 113% of magic storm damage to one foe. Okay, this is the first storm damage card I've seen. Draw one additional card next go. And it's a regular attack as well, which is nice. Might be worth swapping out. Mm. Gonna get rid of one mana barrier and put an electrolyze in instead. Don't think I want to take this though. Brave Buster is just too good. Go. Go. Oh god, these. Oh god. Two of those and two of those. That is not great. Okay, let's redraw this. See whether we can get three greens. Yeah, okay, so that's super weak to frost. Shields up on her. Oh, I can do the creeping cold, but I'd be better waiting till next go if I can. Yeah, let's get a poison. And let's just searing lash. Focus on, on one of these guys. This is going to be a bit challenging. Okay, well, at least I boosted her resistance. Okay, so do that. on the one and we get a barrier field which is great give us some defense it's a shame we would have liked the other one to hit this all critical nice in that and didn't do much damage unfortunately oh, we got a barrier Flame Wave is definitely efficient to do now. I worry we're not going to kill this guy in time. At least let's shield up. Sixty damage to everyone there, that's fantastic. Ooh. 
Oh boy. Well, is he gonna go this, is he gonna explode this go? Have we got one more turn? I don't know. We've got one more turn, it might be worth trying to kill him, but if we don't, then it definitely isn't. So let's assume the worst. Uh, oh, I really need one more green card so that I can heal. Not one of those, though. Um, removes a status effect. It's not going to take that off. Ooh, this could be quite bad. Okay, that did not work at all. Okay, well, I guess we can do that to heal him. We'll do that and we'll get a chain. Is he gonna blow up? We're gonna get one more turn. Oh, he's blown up. Oh, that is a horrendous attack. Ugh. Okay, well, so we've got more hit points than we did last time. Okay, time to kill these things. At least this will be, this will give us a bigger strength boost now, I think. He's below, oh, she's not below 50%. Okay, well, we can at least do that, and then we can at least do that, and then we can do that, and we'll get a bonus. So that should kill him. We'd actually like to take some time to heal. Can we do that? Um, Uh, our health carries over between fights. Oh god, don't kill him. Um, yeah, it's good for us to take time to heal up before we finish the fight. Um, and we can do that. So shield up on there. Let's do a quick fix on our melee. Oh, that's going to use one cog there. Hang on. Uh, but we've got... Well, okay, let's redraw this. Mm, let's redraw. Okay, we're out of redraws. Poison him, I'm gonna kill him, but I guess. That oh, will, ah, uh, yeah, it's worth doing because that heals everybody for 16 as well. Because we played three cards of the same color. Okay, well, that was alright. Exploding things there. They are nasty. Saving game. Are we there yet? The tracks, they're all over the place. What a mess. Perhaps we should split up. Each on their own in the middle of nowhere. 
I vote for strength in numbers. I vote for making camp here while you two go follow those tracks. Strength in peace and quiet. I vote for asking the stranger in the cage who saw which way they went. And I vote for... Hey! Trying to sneak up on us, huh? Of course. Me and my cage. Not to mention this heavy contraption bolted on the tree here. We've been pursuing you for hours. Ha! Who are you? Why are you in there? Ah, uh, cutting right to the chase. The name is Oric, at your humble service. Well, let's just say an argument ended on a rather bad note. Don't worry about it. On a bad note? Must have been a hell of a tune to leave you locked up like some jailbird. I've seen you somewhere before. Of course, the book! You're in the book! The Hero's Handbook! Look, I got it right here! Oh, uh, that was ages ago. Nothing to talk about, really. Nothing to talk about? You're Auric! The legendary sidekick to Gilgamesh, the true ancient hero. The book is full of stories about you two. Like the one where... Now I'm blushing, but yes, the one and the same. Forgive me for not getting up. On that note, you wouldn't mind me getting out, getting me out of here, would you? Oh, of course. Let me just... Hold up. Before we do anything rash, let's stop for a second and consider the facts here. We've just met a masked stranger in the middle of nowhere. In a cage. What if this caged stranger, and I stress the word caged, whom we've just met, is in cahoots with that army? Did I mention I saw where that army went? They dragged a big cage north through that arch and into a cave. Though I wouldn't recommend a group as inexperienced as yours to go after such an intimidating horde. Either way, they locked up the cave and the guard with the keychain went off the other way, past my charming cage into the south. Coincidentally, the keychain also holds the key to this cage, that is keeping yours truly under wraps. If you're going after the army, you'll need those keys one way or the other. Once you have it, I would very much appreciate if you'd let me out. Count on us! We'll get the keys and be back in a heartbeat! Alright, let's go get the keys. Sure nothing bad can happen from letting him out of there. dark in here. If this was a soldier guarding the keys, then this is a dead end. signs of struggle here, and other smaller footsteps leading in the direction of that cavern. Losing around footprints all day sure is fun. One will be pleased to find out her son's practicing to be a podiatrist. As long as he gets you out of that basement, I'm sure she'll... After friendly banter, our heroes decided to cast aside their weariness to instead follow this new lead. Fine. 
Hey there, sneaky looking coglin whose footsteps suspiciously match the ones we're following. Intruders! I won't let you steal my honestly stolen treasures! You wouldn't happen to have found a keychain on that corpse outside, would you? He uh, tripped on my sword, and I took the keychain fair and square. It's what he would have wanted. It must be valuable with so many people after it, so I think I'll keep it. Open this gate and give us the keys, you gimp hooded kleptomaniac. Well, it's nice dungeon crawling with you guys. See you back in the village. Nice try, homebody. Now let's refocus from brawn to brains and look around for some other way around the gate. Like this narrow passage here. This is just like a chapter in the Hero's Handbook, where Gilgamesh fought his way through a labyrinth of... Let's refocus while quiet. Now, should I heal now? Oh, Millie's okay. Copernicus pretty low. gamble that we can keep on going. I don't get the impression there's gonna be a boss fight just yet. Oh, missed it. <laughs> it's surprisingly hard to sneak up on things. Okay, tell us about the green slime. He is highly resistant to fire, which is a bummer. He's not at all resistant to lightning, which is good, as we have some lightning. Now let's blast him with lightning. Uh, is he actually immune to fire? I'm not quite sure what this means. I suspect that might mean he's immune to fire. Okay. Oh, I need to remember that I've got healing potions as well, actually. How many of those do I have? Seven. Okay. And ointment. Okay, it cures status effects. Poison, bleed, burn, paralysis, and blindness. Oh, I guess that means he's immune to burn. Okay. All right. In that case, we will focus and we will electrolyze. And then we're creeping cold. Still only 22 damage. Better keep in his cards, our, our Millie's cards, until next go because she's not lost much health yet. And this heals as well as boosting strength, so. Uh, instead of that, we'll poison and do a shield up on her. And then we will mend her. She's currently the lowest. And then we get a chain effect as well. healed which is good and now our Millie I think can just go for it we'll do bravado uh, we'll do an aspiring heals for 14 so that's mm. I'm not sure how much so what does this increase 
This is a strength by one grade. Okay, and this is gonna raise a strength by one grade as well. So I guess I may as well do the heal. And then we'll do Brave Buster on the glue. The goo. end up killing that with a poison? Hmm, probably not. Yes, we did. 40 damage. Okay. Pretty sweet. His physical resistance is down. Um, Mana barrier him. Let's try and get another blue card that I can actually play. Mm, okay, well, I'll go for the poison then. Poison is always good. Okay, surely now. Two cogs. So we'll do Aspiring Hero, we'll do Eric Strike, and we'll do Brave Buster. Okay, I'll level up. So 55 extra hit points for our melee, 8 extra magic for Copernica, and 12 extra attack for Galeo. Oh no, it's an exploded dude and I missed him. Uh, okay. Well, exploded dude remains top priority. Uh, let's get rid of this. Okay, creeping cold. Right. Focus. Electrolyze on him. Creeping cold on him. We've got to do that. We need more damage. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, Searing Lash. Get rid of one of the shields as well. Thing to get it. Now let's put shields up on our melee. Okay, Flame Wave will kill him. And we can do that if we do a Mana Barrier first, so... Do that, and then that. Sure that's gonna kill him? I'm pretty sure that's gonna kill him. And then Poison... Oh, we could go for another 
blue. We could try and redraw. Ah, uh, let's just poison. Lob. Oh no, he's still alive. He really is weak. Okay, that thing has to die. Oh, he does have some shield, that's why. God, how much shield does he have? Oh. Hang on, no. Oh, okay. Punch the blob, let's creep in cold him. That will kill him. And then let's poison the guy in the front. Taking way too much damage. Need to heal him. Rado. Ah, uh, who's doing more damage? The guy at the front. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the heal rather than taking advantage of the It's not gonna kill him though I don't think. Well the poison might I suppose. Yes. Okay, so I can get one more chance to heal, hopefully. Is playing two regular cards though. Only two regular cards that don't cause any damage. Oh, I can't do it. This is gonna kill him. Well, maybe we'll get lucky. Want to heal probably our melee if we can. I can do more than 30. No, that exactly does 30. Okay. It's probably worth it as long as this guy doesn't do too much damage. Okay, no, 32. We heal for more than that, so. That was worthwhile. And now we may as well. Chest. 500 gold pieces. Okay. It's pretty nice. Uh, well. Now, does that mean the boss is going to be up ahead? Uh, actually, I think if we look down here, it might tell us. I'd like to heal before we blunder into a Looks like it's locked from the other side. Okay, so gotta go around again. Go around this way. This is the way we need to go. Mm, nope. Oh lord. Uh, he looks scary.
Oh no. We could have avoided him. Too bad a position, I guess. We can do this. We can shield up, shield up, and then mend the big guy. Nice. Extra healing for everybody and some defense. That is a pretty hefty uh, attack though. Okay, tell us something about him. He is weak to dark, but otherwise that's it. Um, so I think we'll just go with focus, electrolyze, and creeping cold. Get a bonus barrier feel for everybody. 20, he's always on the bottom end of that damage scale. Tenacity, it's okay, so he raised his physical resistance. Well, still probably worth hitting him. Resistance does count for something. We definitely need to keep our resistance up against him. As best we can, anyway. Okay, we can do a double Brave Buster. So let's do it. Plus 78, okay, that's good. And boosted his attack, that's definitely not good. Uh, but I've got no defense. However, if I do three greens. Guardian, which gives us extra defense. Can we stack poison? I don't know. Did that do anything? Nothing to indicate it's stacked. Ooh, okay. Chains are falling nicely. Look at his attack though. God, we really need to kill him. Got a barrier, but it's not going to count for much. Okay, he's still war crying, fortunately. Oh, and he's dead. The poison's killed him. Okay, that could have been unpleasant. getting rid of this there.
four attacks is not great. God, lowered our physical defense on both of those. All right. Um, I could kill him. Yeah, that's worth it, I guess. It does give us a heal as well. Although, yeah, defense down. Do a mend on her. Uh, we need to play one more card to do that, though. Try redrawing that. Okay, shields up. Heals up, mend, and reason. Then we'll get the combo. Okay, the green, all greens would be good. Unless we can get rid of his uh, thingy there. Poison on somebody else. And let's heal her. It's got to be a flame wave, really, so focus. She's uh, weak, but he has the least health. is good. Let's redraw this, try and get another green. 
Okay, then. We'll just hit him. Oh, shoot. Shields up. Bravado, and then mend. Okay, poison, poison. Electrolyze, that'll do. Shields up on her. Steam punch him. Mend. Yes, our melee. Get us an extra heal and some defense. Okay, and he died from the poison. And everybody's leveled up. Even better. Extra health, extra attack. Okay, so now we can head down here. And... Uh, are we heading this way? Should I be heading down this way? I feel like I should be going down this way. I can get the key. running away again. Come back here, you craven creature. Ah, King Algaron. The hero's handbook has a chart over every single chain that... Of course it has. You think that Colleen Crook still this too? That is awful at decorating. Ah, uh, okay. This means there's going to be a boss fight next go, possibly. And we've all actually just leveled up. So... Oh, do I want to heal now? How did you losers get all the way here? Don't think I'll give up this precious keychain so easily. Oh no, he's still running away? No. Having cornered the cloaked kidnapper, our heroes psyched up for a fight. Really thought I'd let myself get snared in my own den? Come here, puppy! Oh dear. Now that's a good pup. Holy. 1650 health. Alright then. Um, okay, let's get rid of the men because we don't need it. Look 
Marcus Manabaria and Searing Lash. Let's uh, get some information on these guys first. So, nothing special, it's just really strong and really tough. Uh, likewise, 45 strength, 45 magic. Oh, they are both the same. All right. Wow, actually, Copernicus got more health than our Millie now. Seems slightly crazy. Okay. Uh, well, let's get focus up. Let's put a mana a barrier on our Millie. And I wonder if we kill him, whether his puppy will run away. I have no idea. Poisoning us, okay. And he's healing. Oh, he's got to heal over time. Okay, well, in that case, maybe focusing on him does make sense. Like to get that poison off, but for now. We will do that, and then two Brave Busters on the Keymaster. And 62. Okay, that was nice. Good chunk of damage. He's going to do something really horrendous once he fills his steam gauge up. Probably. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to go for the attacks. Keep hitting him while we can. Oh, he's increased his physical resistance though now. Ah. It's alright, he's down to half health. Oh, she's weak. Uh, head smash! Uh. Okay, that's fairly bad. Okay, at least the poison has come off. Okay, let's put shields up on him. Let's do a quick fix on her. And then let's poison the Keymaster and get the chain bonus as well. And again, just after we got that card. Oh, Earth Slam damage to all of us. Okay, so that's his big attack. Oh, we really need to heal him. Okay, let's uh, use a recovery item. Let's use our ointment to get his poison off. That does cost us a card. Well, that does count as a card, rather, but I think we need to do that. Chain either. Okay, shields up on her. And I guess steam punch him. Oh, we've got another status effect on us as well. Oh god, that's not good. Lead, take damage after playing a card. 
Oh, okay. Hence the bleed on all of these cards. Okay, we need to use a recovery item. Kind of tempted just to have a turn of doing that. What else is coming there? Yeah, then maybe next go I can do... Oh, maybe I should do that now. No, I can't. How long is bleed going to stay on for? He's got two stacks. He's got two stacks. Whoa. Okay, we could do this. Oh no, we've, we're playing a repla ah, repair vial, aren't we? Oh, okay, well, let's do another one then. One more on her, and one more on him. Heal up. God, poison. Poison is nasty. All right. It's better damage. Got some shield up now as well. Oh, more poison. Oh. This is not good. Now he's gone invisible. Very high evasion chance. Shields up. Uh, let's mend him and poison him. Seems we've actually got a chance of hitting him. And then we will get the benefit of guardian on everybody, which is good. on him but okay let's see if we can draw another let's get rid of that card because So 
our plan of trying to kill him. Oh no, but look how low she is. No, we can't do that. She needs to heal. attack so we really do want to kill him. Let's redraw that. Okay. We really don't want another Brave Buster. We can't use it. Quick fix. Plan to keep that until we get poisoned again. So, 156. I might just do it. There's a good chance that our oh, Millie's gonna die. We better heal. Oh no, it's not enough to kill him. No. Oh no. Oh, not good. going from probably gonna miss We got a quick fix, our oh, Millie. And we're gonna poison him. And we want a guaranteed kill on him, but if we can do it with a green card, that would be better. So let's redraw that. Shields up. Oh, that would be a green card. It won't kill him. Ah. Maybe we put the poison on him, at least that will kill him after his turn. And then we do shields up. Better put it on our melee, I guess, because that poison is going to do a bunch of damage. 
Oh no, quick fix. A quick fix. Okay, how oh well. Oh, I should have done it on the big dude. Okay, well that's alright. He got his bonus. Earth slam. Okay, at least the dude died. So we're just down to the one. Oh dear, now he's enraged. It's not going to be good, is it? Physical resistance up and attack up. Okay, well, we're definitely going to heal him. And... I'll avoid using these cards, so let's try doing a redraw. So that's good because it gives us more steam power. But... Keep that because it's a heal. Don't really want to play it now, though. Okay. Well, maybe now is the time to. Use a recovery item again. Oh, one on her, one on him. my recovery items in this one fight. Still got bleed. Ah, oh, maybe I should have taken that off last go. Okay, give me a... Yes, one of them. Mana barrier arm melee. Searing lash you, and we'll creep in cold you as well, and then we'll get a barrier field on everybody. do his 50 damage to everybody attack. two poisons and a mend, sadly. Uh, and also, sadly, he is really low. So I think I've got to do that just so I can do the mend on him. And then we'll do a poison on him as well. Let him survive this attack. This attack's boosted. 86. Oh, just. God, we really need a way to reduce his attack, but we took that card out of our deck. It's possibly not smart. Okay. Poison. Steam punch, quick fix on him, give him a bit of heal.
Oh, she's in trouble. Why are you hitting her? Oh god, she's dead. Oh. Now I can't use her cards at all. Right then. Steam punch. Shields up. And mend. Because I can mend her now. So I'm gonna have to rely on him to heal and block, and our melee to do damage, and just hope I don't get too many of her cards. Just keep discarding them, I guess. God. Oh no, now he's gonna do his massive attack. Ah, oh, and it's all her cards. Well, nothing I can really do other than... I think that's actually going to kill him, though. Ah, oh, so much as I would like to do that... I think I actually need to use a last repair vial. Heal our melee. I've got to keep him alive, otherwise... Oh, why is he fortifying now? It's just cheating. I've got to survive this. Okay. All right, keep getting rid of these. Get rid of that. So we will poison him and we will Oh, I can't do both the greens. Okay, well, I'll mend him and I'll aspiring hero him as well. Oh, I needed three greens though for the resistance up. God, this guy sucks. I think he's gonna die. Well, let's get rid of this. Shields up. So yeah, shields up. Quick fix to heal him. And poison, more poison on him. And then we get the heal and the block. We are just clinging on there. He's almost doing his massive attack again. Okay, get that out. Okay, so bravado. Shields up. No, keep that for next go. Can he survive there? I don't know, we're gonna do that. Oh no, he's dead. Oh dear. 
This is really bad. Now I've hardly got any cards I can use. Oh dear. I think he's had it. So low. Oh, but most of the cards now I can't use. This is terrible. Poisons come off him as well. And literally, all I can do is just hope that the right cards come up. Oh, I guess. Do I run away? Maybe I run away. I cannot retreat from this battle. No, I can't do that then. Well, I think I'm going to be dead. Oh my god, look at that. Defeated. So close. Is that actually the end of the game? The no coming back? Okay, revive at statue. I will revive at the statue. Jeez. Okay, that was horrendous. So, how do we want to change our deck? I think we want to get rid of that. It's not super good. We want a shout in there to reduce their strength. You know what, probably two shouts. We've got too many Brave Busters to be able to use them. not particularly useful. Well, other than it does give us a, a steam power, actually, which is good, but it's it's random. The Searing Lash is more reliable. I think I'd rather take another copy of that. Wave is hard to use, but one copy is all right. Weeping cold. I think I'll put a mana barrier in just because it's it will help us boost our steam power. Quick fix is definitely good here because of the poison. Maybe it's even worth taking another quick fix and losing one mend. Okay, let's try that. That was a tough fight. We're gonna have to go through the whole. Oh no, okay, we are at the end. Okay. Let's skip this. I kind of feel that killing a key master first is probably still a good idea. Because of his poison and bleed, which is really quite unpleasant. So, we'll do that. Oh, 
Oh, but have I, I, have I lost reco all my recovery items? I assume I have. So we only got as far as we did because of those. Oh no, okay. I did keep him. <laughs> That's good. Uh, oh, he's got bleed and poison. Okay, well that is definitely worth a quick fix. And then poison and then steam punch. Hopefully only the first one will cost us health. given he's got lead. Uh, Lame wave is difficult to use. I'll keep quick fix around for poison because I think poison is worse. Don't need sh Shout yet. Hmm. Okay, mana barrier on her. Keeping cold. Killing him first, he enrages actually, so maybe we shouldn't exclusively focus on him. Now everybody's bleeding, which is annoying. He's healing, see, so now's when we want. Uh, is it shout? No, Shout removes. I can't remember. Shout removes his attack or his physical defense. I've got to use two of the bleed cards anyway, so I might as well just go for this, I think. Oh, his physical defense is up. It's kind of a bad time to do it. Well, he's taking quite a lot of damage from each card, actually. Uh, maybe that wasn't smart. Jeez, okay. Uh, yeah, that wasn't smart. Oh my god, he's almost dead. Alright. Quick fix uh, on him to get rid of the bleed. Followed by shields up on our melee. Followed by Mend on our melee. Oh, 
poison fits for 50. And I'm really still bleeding. Wow. Get rid of that poison because poison is just horrendous. Let's return the favor. Heal him. Heal, heal, heal. <laughs> Finish turn. And you do your smoke screen. Oh god. Alright, well, while he's screened, I might as well attack the other dude. And we're gonna do shout to get rid of. Actually, what does Shout do? Lowers all for strength. Okay, well that's still not a bad thing to do, especially when he's going to do his massive attack, this guy. Uh, heal, and then Brave Buster. To the poison. She's bleeding. Gotta get rid of that poison. We do have quick fix actually. So we could do that and then quick fix. Both of them bleeding. Okay, recovery items, more recovery items, heal him. Uh, let's do a quick fix on him to heal him for a bit more as well. And 
then we can actually do one of his cards safely. So maybe this to heal him for a bit more. recovery cards is it stops you from getting the combos. Mega Smash though. Well, I've reduced his strength, so that'll help. Oh, he gets up another poison before we kill him. something bad so oh, I've got to get rid of that poison otherwise he's dead and I don't have any way to do that shields up Three blue. Oh, okay, maybe I can now. That just gives a shield though. Will that protect against the poison? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Uh, fire pillar is gonna do surely enough to kill him. Creeping cold as well, actually. So, yeah, why not? And get a barrier field up on everybody. I don't know if it's going to be enough there. Oh, and he gets mad, which is never good. All on super low health. Doing okay. Really, really, really need to heal. Ah, uh, really, really, really need to get rid of that poison. Uh, I could just do them. I can do the mana barrier thing again. Actually, that'll absorb the poison damage. Ooh, maybe that'll work. for everybody. Okay. Did manage to get through the poison there. 
Oh, now he's going to do his big thing. So, it is definitely time. I don't know who is the weakest. Probably... Him. So, what if... Can we do mend shields up and quick fix? Yeah, we can. So we'll mend Galeo. We'll shields up on uh, and we'll quick fix on our melee. Hopefully this will give us enough to survive it. Gotta reduce that attack. We, um, we gotta we gotta do it. Let's start taking this guy down and then we're just never gonna Never gonna win this. 216, that's nice. Just has an insane pool of health. Okay, she's still alive. I just want to keep hitting him, but... But she is gonna die unless... We take some serious action, so maybe we'll do... That and Mana Barrier. And then take the opportunity to put a poison on him as well. Actually, the mana barrier should have probably gone on uh, top dude. Nope, good, okay. Just to hit her. Okay, we definitely need to keep knocking his strength down. Uh, I'm just worried that he is vulnerable, but next go he's going to do his slam, so if we can have three green cards ready for that, if we can survive this. Uh, I wonder if we should keep the cogs for the green, probably. Reduced his strength by much, though. Oh no, he's dead. Shoot! Oh well, we're screwed. Now we can't use any green cards. Suppose we can rely on. Oh, we just have enough to do three blue. We can rely on her that she gives us. Greens are not good. So, oh god. 
All I can do is shout and shout, and I guess I may as well use a recovery item. Come on, lower that sword. It's still got two... Ah, oh, jeez. Well, it kept her alive a bit longer. At least if we can do three of her cards, she at least attacks and protects at the same time, which is good. raised oh dear yeah maybe maybe killing the other guy first is not such a smart idea <laughs> it's a risk that he dies but both of those cards heal and then the bonus heals as well, so... Actually, yeah, that worked out quite well. Oh, but now he's doing his Mega Smash again. Three blues. Maybe while I've got the big hits, I should just do him. And I'm going to have to rely on her. At least I've got two of her cards for next go. through this, I think. So we'll do that, and we'll do a bravado to at least give him a heal as well. That's it, that's all my heals done. And the focus is good because that lets us get rid of three cards. Which we really need to do. So we can get rid of these greens. Uh, once again... is vulnerable. I think a mana barrier combined with these two should be fine.
we kill him. Well, we definitely want to get rid of as many cards as we can. We can't use. Uh, is reducing his strength going to help us here, or we just need to pound on him? I think she's dead regardless. Probably rather reduce his strength the next go. Let's do that, that, and that. Maybe it's enough to kill him? Although he's got high resistance now. Oh, he really does have high resistance. That super sucks. That was 63 again. Do it. Well, let's do it. Shout, bravado. Wait, why doesn't. Oh no, because it's. Okay, no, it needs to be a regular card. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Mm. Well. We. I guess we don't worry about the chain. We just want to do as much damage as possible, so we do that, we do that, and we do that. And we hope that's good enough to kill him. Which it is. Ooh. That was tough. Wow. Ooh. All that running around just to get that keychain. Having vanquished the top-sized terror and his pup, our heroes return to the cage triumphantly with prize in hand. Just don't start rhyming, okay? And that was chapter four in pursuit of an evil army after a captivating meeting our budding liberators proceed on the quest to free the guild heroes and we only found 30 percent of the treasure chests but at least we survived the fight which was somewhat in doubt there and that will take us on to chapter five to the rescue but that will be for next time uh, so until then Thank you for watching, and uh, this is BDA Limey signing out. Bye for now.